Hello boys and girls, Three Ball Josh here. And uh, my friend Carlos Octavian has actually made a video kind of outing me, if you will, of you know some of my big secrets in life. Um, things that I didn't think would ever get out, but he decided to go ahead and put them out. So there goes my run for public office, huh? Um, now I was thinking about this, kind of dwelling on it. You know, I'm not, I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to, you know, reply to this. I was thinking I could either A, go through his, you know, point by point to kind of, you know, give my view on each of my little secrets that he, you know, outed me on, but I figured I'd go ahead and go the lower route and just go ahead and pretty much out him on eight of his secrets. Um, I didn't even know he made this video until I got home from work, so he's not going to know until he wakes up in the morning. Alright, so uh, number eight. Uh, as Carlos mentioned in his video, we are both actually avid beer drinkers. We love beer, um, and we don't, and not just a matter of sitting around drinking a bunch of Budweiser and shit like that. Um, we drink, you know, imported beer, good quality beer. And as a beer lover, Carlos Octavian is the only person I know of who has been to Ireland, been in an Irish pub, and not drink beer. What the fuck is that about? Number seven. Got a list. Number seven. Carlos hates rap music. I mean, he will sit there and tell you how much bullshit rap music is and how just, I mean, how it's just nothing but, I, he said R&B stands for rap and bullshit, you know? But when you get in his car, what do you hear? R&B, hip-hop, all the bullshit he claims to hate. And he'll tell you that it's actually uh, infused in his black DNA that he must listen to it. So, uh, whatever the fuck that means. Speaking of music, number six. Um, Carlos is the only heterosexual black man that I know who will openly admit to liking Elton John music. It's the fucking truth. Um, number five. His favorite thing to eat is something known as a Heidi Burger. I never tried a Heidi Burger myself, but Carlos fucking loves him some Heidi Burger. Number four, um, he dated a girl in Russia, or a, he dated a Russian girl while we were in Germany, um, and she ended up having a kid, not his, she had him well out, way after he had left, um, but had a kid. And actually named him after Carlos's brother. Uh, her reason being was because she felt that naming her son Carlos Octavian would actually be too obvious that she was naming it after him, so she went after his brother instead. Number three, he used to wear a Carolina Panther cap all the time when we were in Germany. Um, however, he ended up losing it to a girl whom we've affectionately referred to as the dog-faced gremlin. Ask him about it. It's a fucking hilarious story. Uh, number two. Carlos loves to play Warhammer. Yeah, that's his inner geek. Um, if you're not familiar with Warhammer, think of Dungeons and Dragons versus, or meets World of Warcraft, and he's going to hate me for using that analogy. Only, um, it's played with these little figurines here that you must spend an ass load of money on purchasing, and then you got to spend an ass load of time painting them because a lot of tournament stuff won't allow you to play unless they're painted or something. I don't know. But, uh, loves the game. He plays it constantly. And the number one thing, Carlos Octavian is actually one of the only black Americans who has done, you know, he's done something that most black Americans never have, and that's been able to trace his roots back to Africa. Um, you know, I mean, with, you know, the slavery and stuff like that, a lot of people have lost, you know, touch with the roots. A lot of people don't know where exactly in Africa their ancestors came from and stuff like that. But he's actually pinpointed it. And Carlos Octavian is not his birth name. His birth name, or as he refers to it, his slave name, is actually Reginald Heffelfinger. Kind of weird, I know, right? He chose uh, Carlos Octavian because he actually, you know, did the research and stuff like that. And Carlos, the the name Carlos Octavian is actually Swahili, which stands for 
roughly translated to English, eight pound man club or something to that effect. Um, now I can't exactly, you know, confirm or deny the size of his man club because I've never seen it, but, you know, that's what he claims. So, uh, there you have it. Those, you know, here's right back at you, buddy. And, uh, for those of you who actually see this, I want you to go ahead and actually check out his, uh, his channel. He's got, you know, he puts out, he puts out a few, you know, some great videos and stuff like that. Um, I'll have it in the center. <laughs> I can get all turned around and stuff like that. Uh, in the uh, description and stuff like that. Click on that. Subscribe to him. He's a great guy. Um, I, you know, I always refer to him as my brother of another color. You know, so I'm just gonna go and sign off. You know, if I wasn't three ball Josh, I'd wish I was.